Hey there folks, Randy here, and welcome to Santa Claus and His Helpers, a short Dwayne and I are doing as our special Christmas gift to the world. You'll see their name in a lot of the credits. Is it just me, or do these backgrounds have nothing to do with Christmas? It's like Halloween there. We ain't got no snow down in Mexico. It's kind of hard to believe they had a production manager for this. Yeah, right. Little Batman spells Robin Dooney. Oh, there he is. Music by Satan. And there's San Fernando again. Ooh, nice reveal. Yeah, it's kind of like Twilight Zone meets Christmas. Of course, in a horrible way. That's all the coke you have to have to enjoy this film. What is this, like, family portrait? They're, they're, they are scraping the bottom of the barrel for footage here. It's disgusting. Listen, my children. Listen. The hour is drawing near for me to go down to Earth, where all children expect my arrival. Oh, so Santa's an ancient As alien. Know, Christmas Eve, it's almost here. And we still have thousands of things to do. Like giant it's cardboard candy canes. To get all our work finished. It's up to you. To prevent oh, forest oh. fires. Okay, can we move on, please? Thank you. This is Santa's wondrous laboratory in his castle high above the North Pole and far out in space. Very far out in space. <laughs> in it is located the magic teletalker. Paging Dr. Freud. Connected to the hear all ear. And the smell all nose. The behavior computer that registers the good and bad deeds of children of all ages. It was designed by Nietzsche. Okay, kids, give me a second here. I gotta correct myself before we continue with the film. All right, I'm ready. And the See It All telescope, connected to the magic eye. And we didn't steal the magic eye from the War of the Worlds at all. And dead air. And they're smoking and they're shrooms? So this no is wonder. what Santa Claus is looking at through his fantastic telescope. He's checking out those nurses changing. I'm a Festivus activist and I'm very upset that Santa didn't let us put a Festivus pole there. One of the many villages he has scattered over the whole world. And yes, that is the Easter Bunny. His helpers are constantly busy keeping up with the many things that Santa Claus requires. Like bathing in Bloody Marys. Next time on The Prisoner. This is our miscellaneous footage. These are the villages where Santa Claus spends most of his time supervising the construction and development of new toys and keeping track of all the children of the world. And drinking. Those who behave and those who don't. What is this, Doctor Who all of a sudden? Jeez. Using the fifth dimension invented by his close friend Merlin the Magician, Santa Claus can be seen everywhere, whenever he pleases. He's just cool that way. So does that make Santa God? I think it's a house. Oh, that awful smell! I should give you 17 slaps before I kick you out of Santa's village! I told you not to smoke that stuff! I always give my dog a firearm. Oh my ulcer! Oh my patience! Ten thousand curses! I can't stand you as my helper anymore! Get out of here! But, 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 don't be mad at me anymore! We're not done with the prototype for Pepe Le Pew! Oh, that's Uncle! Oh, what are you doing to my friend and pal? 
Okay, I'd just like to point out we are severely deviating from Christmas folklore. He only does things wrong because he's littler than you, and you're always picking on him. And now we're going back to Mr. Rogers' neighborhood, Mel. You know very well he cannot help it. Well... So what's in the bag there, skunk? I must say, though, Fernando really did capture the heart and soul of the original and turn it into a screenplay here. In fact, this is footage that has been restored by AMC. So we can all thank them for this. Well, you know, it's a brilliant coda, and, um... It just, its theme never gets old. Ever. I completely agree. It's its timeless, really. Its message is also timeless. Never gets old. Meanwhile, at Texaco... Merlin's just working with Santa because he didn't like that King Arthur gig. Can you feel me near you? Mr. Merlin! Brilliant writing. Mr. Merlin! <laughs> oh, Santa Claus! What a scare you gave me! Yeah, that was definitely a convincing, scared reaction. I suppose you've changed the colors again. This one is better than the others. When it reaches the sun into the rainfall, the magic A journey. miracle of wonderful colors will fill the entire oh, heaven. Oh, 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 oh. Well, Mr. Merlin, tell me of the sleeping powers are mixed. Tell me about Christmas the rabbits, George. Coming, and my friends are fighting at one of my villages. Well, you must go, go. But Merlin, how am I going to get there? Can't get there from here. Have you forgotten my invention of the fifth dimension? This is the dawning I of the... I shall to you the secret of the magic stardust concocted by Merlin. Oh. Unsurpassed for making all the people mm. in this world disappear. Oh, please, let me go by. The liquor store is closing soon. <laughs> Mecca like a high, Mecca honey. Oh. Was LSD still legal back in 1964? That, that would explain a lot. No, no, that's his cover of Torgo's theme. Set designed by Georgia O'Keefe. Again, a poignant look at today's society. Just a wonderful artistic commentary. The fifth dimension. Fifth dimension? The fifth dimension. Fifth dimension? What are you talking about? Fifth dimension. Where is the floor? Oh. I got their CD right here. You're getting old and forgetful. Just smell the flower of the fifth moon. <laughs> children, children, what are you doing? It's almost Christmas, and most of the children of the world have been very good. And therefore, we will need many more gifts this year. Oh, Jesus, Santa's a hippie. I knew it. We must have peace and harmony, and friends must be friends. And families have to have awkward gatherings around the dinner table. Now, children, it is time to go back to work. Bill, you're on drive through You're so right, Mr. Santa. I'll take this two back to the village. We'll start marching. What? Why doesn't he just shoot them? That would make this movie a lot faster. Dear Fernando. And so Santa's forces continued to fight at Iwo Jima for a victory at sea. Now, two, three, four. 
learn that one in the military. And if it's supposed to be so peaceful, why is he leading them at sword point? I don't think a sword enters into the Christmas tradition. At the old ball game. Quick, there's a sale at Target! This just in, three elves killed over a Wii game. You go back, Jack, and do it again, do it again, do it again. But before unpacking... Oh, so Santa's workers are in China? This is a little evil for Christmas toy making music, don't you think? Oh no, not the skunk again. What, is he going to make a record or something? What are we looking at? For the skunk smell grew three times that day. Oh look, Santa's got his copy of the Torah back there. I think the skunk's in the Union. Reusing footage for extra time. Oh, the cat taught him how to make a sword so he could go after that stupid dog. No, please! That's where my neck injury was! Ah! Man, how did Fernando conceive of this cutting? It's just genius. Mama, don't let your sons to grow up to be Santa's helpers. So the elves pick up their rebellion. So it seems to me the general theme here is that they're making things for Christmas. And they are indeed Santa's helpers. And why add dialogue? Well, I read this interview with Fernando, and he said that it's better for your audience to interpret your art through images only. Well, for some reason it's an abrupt ending, but I hope you enjoyed this K. Gordon Murray release. Look for more on our YouTube channel.